Creationists usually accept that taxonomy is superficially accurate, but they'll only concede that to a degree, because they insist that their god miraculously conjured a series of definitely different kinds of animals which were each specially created separate from each other. Creationists allow that each of these kinds have since diversified, but only within mysterious limits which they refuse to originally define. And they say that no lineage could ever be traced beyond their alleged original archetypes. However, they're unable to identify what those kinds are, how many there are, or how they could be recognized. I would challenge them to show me their mystic divisions amongst the following taxa. Are mallards related to pockers, wood ducks, and muscovies? Are all ducks also related to geese and other anseriforms? Are anseriforms related to galliforms and other neonates? Are neonates related to paleonates? Are any extant birds related to Hesperornis, Ichthyornis, Enantiornis, or other Eornites? Are Eornites related to Confuciusornis or Archaeopteryx? Are all early aves related to Microraptor, Velociraptor, or other non-avian dinosaurs? Are dinosaurs related to Pterosaurs, Phytosaurs, and other Archosaurs? Are Bengal tigers related to Burmese tigers and all other tiger species? Are all known species of tiger related to each other and all other panthers? Are all panthers related to felines, scimitar cats, and other felids? Are felids related to nymphorids or viverids? And how could we tell? Are all phylloidea related to any or all other members of the order carnivora? Those who promote creationism's bewildering inanity should be able to show exactly where and why uniquely created kinds could not be grouped together with any parent clades which would otherwise only imply an evolutionary ancestry. If creationism is true of anything more than a single ancestor of all animal forms, if not the entire eukaryote collective, or if the concept of common ancestry is fundamentally mistaken, then there must be a point in the tree where taxonomy falls apart, where what we thought was related to everything is really unrelated to anything else. And unless you're a Scientologist or Aurelian, that criteria must apply to other animals besides ourselves. So, is the short-tailed goanna related to the Parenti and all other Australian goannas? Are all Australian goannas related to each other and to the African and Indonesian monitors? Are today's terrestrial varanids related to Cretaceous mosasaurs? Are varanids related to any other anguimorphs, including snakes? Are anguimorphs also related to skinkimorphs and geckos? Are all sclerogosa related to iguanids and other squamates? Are all of squamata related to each other and to all other lepidosaurs? Are all lepidosaurs related to placodonts and plesiosaurs? Are lepidosauromorphs related to archosaurs and other diapsids? Are all diapsids related to anapsids or synapsid reptiles like dimetrodon? Are all reptiles related to each other and all other amniotes? Are all amniotes related to each other and all other tetrapods? Are all tetrapods related to each other and all other vertebrates? And so on. Which of these are related? Which of these are created? Remember, if there's any validity to creationism whatsoever, or if there's some critical flaw in the overall theory of evolution from common ancestry, that flaw must be found here, or it simply can't be anywhere else.